Hi gang, John from Rock County Jet Ski, Watcon.com. Welcome to Watercraft Talk. Today I want to talk a little bit about fuel filters. Um, we quite often, we do service here on, on these old skis, the two strokes, uh, everything, I, I guess I should, we service them all, but um, many times these two strokes come in and all too often we, we see an incorrect fuel filter on it. And I just, I want to talk a little bit about fuel filters and why it's important to have the correct fuel filter. Um, what I have here is a, this is a lawnmower type, I, I call it lawnmower type fuel filter. It is a universal um, fuel filter and actually, and I've cut it open so you can look at it, this is actually a paper element in there. And these are not good in our world. Um, people put them on because they're cheap. Uh, you can get them at AutoZone or the Auto Store or Amazon or whatever, your local small engine shop. Um, but a, a paper element fuel filter is too restrictive in, in our world. Um, fuel filters are measured by, the flow is measured by microns. Um, and I should have done my homework before we started this video and I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know what microns these are and I don't even remember what microns our applications are, but just trust me, it's, it's less. Our fuel pumps and, and carburetors aren't very strong and our, our signal isn't very strong and we can't have too much of a restrictive. If we have too restrictive of a fuel filter, you'll actually run lean. These don't do well with water. Um, it's just, it's just bad. Stop putting paper element fuel filters on watercraft. What we, what I have here is a Yamaha fuel filter. This is my go-to. We put this on everything with an inline fuel filter. This actually is a water separating fuel filter. So this has an element in here and it goes in like this. And if you have water in your fuel, the water should drop to the low point here and it sucks fuel off of the top. This it has no water separator at all and will just, if you do get water, number one, water plugs up the paper too much and uh, number two, it just, it won't help separate it. This will help, not that I'm saying having water in your fuel is ever a good thing, but at least this will help um, and you can actually see a line and if you see any water in there, change your fuel filter. I'm going to show you, this is actually a fuel filter out of a sea -Doo. And why I have this is because I didn't want to cut up a brand new expensive $30 Yamaha fuel filter to show you what's inside. This is exactly what's inside of it. And you can see it's, it's a screen. Um, it's a very fine screen, but it is a plastic mesh type screen and um, flows a lot more microns than this. We're not in a dusty, dirty environment. Hopefully you keep your gas cans clean. Hopefully you've got a good gas station where you get good fuel and clean fuel. And this should be sufficient, more than sufficient, um, for filtering out our fuel systems. So stop, moral of the, the video is, is to stop putting small engine, paper element, universal automotive type fuel filters on your jet ski, run a proper personal watercraft approved fuel filter. I, again, this is, I love these Yamaha ones. I'm not a fan of the, the ones with the stones in them either. Um, this, this is what we've been running on everything for years. I hope you find that informative. Um, I sure appreciate all you guys watching. Keep reaching out with the ideas. Um, we, we love hearing from you. With that, it's a crazy world, and as I always say, please be kind to each other while you're out there, out and about, or even on the internet. Um, be kind. It goes a long ways. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Like, tag, share, and follow. Uh, we appreciate that. Our, our channel is growing, and I need your help for that to happen. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.